the comedy stage, Louis Anderson. From film and TV series, Mike Connors. From superstar to Mr. Television, Milton Merle. From the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Little Richard. From Airwolf, Jan Michael Vincent. From the Facts of Life, Charlotte Ray. From the LA Lakers, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. From Hotel, Heidi Bohe. And from the center square, Lynn Redgrave. They are the new Hollywood Square. And here's your host, Ron Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Welcome to New Hollywood Squares. Hello to our special guest stars. Once again, it is Wednesday. Thank you, Milton. Yes, the days go by so fast. Please welcome on my left our reigning champion. Her name is Dee Dee Alton, back for her fourth day. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Jim. Good luck today. I need it. If she wins today, she has a chance of one out of two to go after that car. So good luck today. Now, you have a challenger, and he's on my right. Mark Stone is here, an account manager. Welcome, Mark. Good luck today. Thank you very much. An account manager where? Here in Los Angeles? Yeah. For Los some Angeles sort of office area. products that we yeah, might know? Yeah, office machines. Cool. Office machines. Mm -hmm. It's kind of boring, Mark. We hope it'll be more exciting than yeah. that today. <laughs> Good luck on the show. Remember, the object of the game is to win simply a tic-tac-toe. Three squares across, down or diagonally, or to acquire the most squares you can. The winner of each game will receive $500 in cash, and whoever wins the most money at the end of the show will have a chance, Dee Dee, possibly, to drive away one of these beautiful Mazdas. As always, yes, our challenge starts. And remember, the way you earn a square now, Mark, since you're new on the show, is to decide whether the celebrity is telling the truth, making up an answer, or just trying to fool around. Pick a square. Uncle Milty. What a good way to start. Milton Burrow. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> to Dr. Ruth Westheimer. Yeah? What is good sex? At George Burns' age, anything. <laughs> What's good sex? What is good sex to Dr. Ruth? Well, if you read Dr. Ruth's book, it must be referring to her book. That's all I can think of. Uncle Milty says the title of her best-selling book. Uh, the title of the book? Mark? I agree. Yeah, that's what it is. X gets a square. <laughs> Over to you, Dee Dee. Take a square. Lynn Redgrave, please. Lynn Redgrave, where yes. are you today? You I'm move in around. The center. Yes, you are. The center of the universe. The hub. The hub. <laughs> According to biblical experts, or Bible yes. experts, Lynn, it is described as a, quote, divine occurrence beyond the power of man. What do we commonly call it? Ah, the success of Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a good show. <laughs> They're friends of ours. It's just okay. They are indeed. Oh, I'll use it. Ah. <laughs> a divine occurrence beyond the power of man, Lynn. Um, ah, uh, uh, According to the revelation. Bible. Revelation. A revelation, Dee Dee. Yes. I disagree. Good for you. Circle gets square. It's a miracle. They say well, it's a miracle. I, I, I tough. Yeah. And over to you, Mark. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson, one of the bright young stars of America today. Why am I in this third, third tier? Because we want to see it wobble. Well, you can. <laughs> neither of us can talk. <laughs> okay, Louis. What is hippophobia? <laughs> I just read them. What is, what is hippophobia? When I'm in your backyard. <laughs> well, it's obvious it's a uh, fear of hippopotamuses. Mark. I disagree. Good for you. Fear of horses. Hippo, hippo. Yeah, fear of horses. Just take my word. How are you, Dee? Chan Michael Vincent to Brock. Jan Michael Vincent came in by helicopter himself. No, that was the airwolf thing, yeah. Airwolf. Yeah. According to folklore, what does it mean if your ears are burning? Uh, your hair is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> your ears are burning. What does that mean according to folklore? Yeah, you got to hear from an old friend. You 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 got gotta to hear from an old friend. Yes, an old friend's gonna contact. You gotta hear from an old friend, Dee Dee. This will be for the for the block. I don't disagree. Yeah, I, I somebody's talking about you. That's not quite the same. Yeah, you disagreed. You got the square. Circle gets that block. Over to you, Mark. Charlie, ready for the block. 
Charlotte Ray, your Halloween special. We're looking forward on HBO for Halloween. Are you weird? Are you witch-like? Oh, yes, I'm, I play two roles, a good witch and a very bad witch. And Diana Rigg and Tim Curry are my star, co-stars. Oh, great. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, she plays the witch. She doesn't use makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> All right. Uh, Charlotte, who wrote Frankenstein? Nobody. That's why he had such a rotten time at camp. <laughs> uh, get it? You got to think about that one, yeah. <laughs> who wrote two Frankenstein? Who wrote Frankenstein? The, the person who wrote Frankenstein was Mary Shelley. Oh, Mary so Shelley. Yeah, do you agree, Mark? Yes. This will be for the block. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's it. X gets the square. You got the block. Oh, you, Didi. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, please. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I was saying, if we played the national anthem, you'd have to stand up and you'd do that. <laughs> Kareem, in mythology, what was the drink of the gods? Uh, Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do believe that was Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Didi? I disagree. Good for you. It's nectar. Nectar. Circle gets a square. Over to you, Mark. Heidi Bohe for the block. Heidi Bohe from Hotel. Yeah. Heidi, true or false? According to watermelon experts, the bigger your melons, the better. Uh, yeah, especially in this business. Um, <laughs> let's see, I would say false. This is for the block, Mark. She says false. I'll agree. You got it, false. Look for medium melons. Medium melons are better. Over to you, Dee Dee. Little Richard for the block. Little Richard, boy, we are skipping around the board. Little Richard, according to fashion experts, what's wrong with mixing gold and silver? Um. <laughs> uh, was that an answer? Oh, no, 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 that was a starter. <laughs> Richard, Shut up. Richard. <laughs> Richard. Oh, would you repeat that question again? Yes. Mel Melton, did you want to help Richard with yeah, this? Yeah, I got to be on a set in December. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing gold with silver, I guess they mean when you wear it, I guess. What, uh, anything wrong with that? Or uh, what's no, I think that it makes you look very, very flat, very rich. Very flattering and very rich. Very rich. He says nothing's wrong with it. It looks good. Dee Dee, this would be for the block. I'll agree. Yeah, no, they say nothing's wrong. It's perfectly okay. Right. You have the block. Circle gets the square. <laughs> now, let me just take a minute here. Uh, we have four X's and four O's. I don't think there's any way that anybody can win except by getting this next clip. This will be the this will be the five to four. Whoever gets it. So, uh, you might want to pick Mike Connors, Mark. I don't know. Maybe why. I'll pick Mike Connors. Good for you, <laughs> Mike. Good choice. We have a visual clue for you. Would our visual clue please enter? <laughs> <laughs> Twice. This guy looks Twice. like here. Mike, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Right. You have the right to refuse a search. You have the right to speak with an attorney and have an attorney present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. Should I jump down there, Mike? Mike, that's... <laughs> Mike, here's your question. Milton, where's, where's, where's Burl? I need help, Burl. <laughs> Mike, here's your question. You starred in three police series. You've probably read the rights, just as uh, Officer Powell here from the... Uh, uh, not, not quite like that, All right. but anyway. Now, you've read the rights so many times. Tell me, what right shouldn't have been there? Well, can I hear them again? I was, I was... Officer Powell, would you do that once more very yeah, quickly? Certainly. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's okay. You have the right to refuse a search. You have the right to speak with an attorney and have an attorney present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. The, the search one is the one I would say is uh, wrong. You can be searched. He says the search one is the one that shouldn't have been there, Mark. What do you think? This man has played three different police officers. He should know. 
I agree. Good for you. That is right. Yeah. Thank you, Officer Paul of the California Highway Patrol. Thank you. X gets the square, and X has won the game. Very nicely done. $500, Mark. We'll be right back and give Dee Dee a chance to get some money on the board, but you might be in trouble now. We might have a new champion in the making. Next up, our secret square game. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Secret square game. The player who chooses that square could win this. Shadow. A trip to NASA. For the vacation of a lifetime, we'll fly you on a gas round trip to the beautiful beaches of the Caribbean on Eastern Airlines. Eastern, a leader in service to all the Americas. And you'll be taking a Windjammer barefoot cruise. Six days of casual sailing adventure in the exotic Caribbean. For land lovers or old salts from Windjammer barefoot cruises. Thank you, Shadow. Stephen, let's reveal our secret square to our home audience. They've seen who you are now, but we don't know. Let's get back to the game. Dee Dee, pick a square. Louis Anderson, please. Louis Anderson. Hi, big guy. Hi. I didn't mean to. Just hi, big guy. That's okay. Where did you get most of our maple syrup? Where do we get most of our maple syrup? Uh, Safeway, aisle six. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get most of our maple syrup? Uh, Maine. Maine, Didi. I disagree. Good for you. Vermont. Circle gets a square. Vermont. Over to you, Mark. Heidi Bohe. Heidi. Yes. Hi, Heidi. Hi, John. Scientists reporting in USA Today claim that you see chickens try to fly and pigs jump over fences just before a certain event. What event is that? A barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> No, I, I, I think um, a tornado. A tornado, Mark. I disagree. Good for you, X can swear, an earthquake. Close, though, very good answer. Over to you, Didi. Uncle Milty, please. Uncle Milty. Boy, you've, you've been relatives to practically the entire world. Relative. <laughs> According to the New Testament, what is it that will set you free? Bran muffins. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say, uh, John, uh, love, love. Love will set you free, Dee Dee. I disagree. The truth will set you free. Okay. Circle gets the square. Over to you, Mark. Jan Michael Vincent de Block. Jan Michael Vincent. There is a well-known Japanese word that means the divine wind. What do we call it? Shinpai nai, monday nai. <laughs> Explain that to me. I don't know what the hell he's right talking on. about. Is that your answer? Uh, no, I, what do we call it? I, I can't believe that you mean... Sushi. He says sushi. Mark? Um, God, I'll disagree. Uh, it's not right, but that's a great answer. It's kamikaze. The kamikaze pilots. Yeah, you X gets a square. You got your block anyway. Yeah, sushi. That's a good answer. Over to you, Dee Dee. Mike Connors, please. Mike Connors. Mike Yakatori, Pardon? Yakatori, Maguro, and Kaki are things you might find where? Well, in Fresno, around the dairy farms, the farmers <laughs> get it on their boots. <laughs> yeah? Maguro, Yakatori, and Kaki are all things you might find where? Kaki or Kaki? Kaki. <laughs> I see where you were going with that. Yes, oh, Kaki, yes. yeah. All right, okay. Uh, I would say they're all uh, cities in Korea. Cities in Korea, Dee Dee. This would be just because you want it. <laughs> I'll disagree. Good for you. A Japanese restaurant. Japanese oh, yeah, restaurant. Nice. Sushi. Mark, over to you. I'll go to Cap. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the secret square. Tell me about this, you know? Not only will this give you the block if you get it right, but this this is a trip to Nassau worth three thousand two hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Well, Have you ever been to Nassau? Do I get no, to go on this? Well, here's your chance. Yeah. Kareem, yes. who said nice guys finish last? Was it Vince Lombardi, Leo DeRocher, 
or General George S. Patton? Uh, it was um, Daffy Duck. No. <laughs> Uh, it Secret was Square, worth a lot of money. Leo DeRocher. He says Leo DeRocher, Mark. I agree. You got it. Yes! yes. That's all. That's all. Lynn Redgrave yes. for the for the block for the block. For yeah. The block. A musical question. Give us yes. the next line. Uh. More than the greatest love the world has known. Is that all you're gonna do? <laughs> That's it? Take it. it we'll, we'll call you. Um, no. <laughs> um, More than the greatest love the world has known. I cannot go on living alone. <laughs> I cannot go on living alone. Oh, oh, oh. It's not my key, John. I cannot go it's on living alone. No, I cannot it? go on living alone. I gave you the wrong key there, but okay. I cannot go on living alone for the win. I'll disagree. Good for you. This is the love I give to you alone. You have it. $500. It's also the block, but it's a better win. We have a tie game. 500 to 500. Be right back. Have a tie game without further ado. Mark, it's your turn. Somebody's gonna go after that car. We might have a new champion. Mark, pick a square. Uncle Milty. Uncle Milty. Yes, sir. The Constitution limits the president to eight years in office. Yeah. But could George Bush serve for the next 20 years? Sure, but who would ever know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think he could. I disagree. Good for you. It's yes. There is no limit on the VP's term. Okay. That's a funny answer. Okay. X gets the square. Oh, Over to you, Diddy. Lynn Redgrave, please. Lynn Redgrave. Lynn. Yes, John. According to a new study in LA Daily News, yes. what is more fattening, eating 500 calories of chocolate ice cream or 500 calories of rye bread? Well, that's such a silly question, John. <laughs> Give me a silly answer. 500 calories is 500 calories, right? So it's... You can't give an, an either or. She says it's the same, Didi. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> I have to disagree. Well, uh, yeah, I, she, Circle gets a square. I have that ice what? cream, calories from fats are more fattening than those coming from carbohydrates. Oh, I got it wrong. How but you're our but weight expert, we see you on so those commercials. Okay. Pardon? She got it right. You, we don't count calories on Weight Watchers. You well, weigh everything. She's okay there. anyway. She got that right. So yeah. she'll get. Over to you, Mark. Louie Anderson. Louie Anderson. What is a jib boom? A what? A jib boom. It's the sound you make when you drop a jib. <laughs> is my car parked though? What is a jib boom? Um, this will be the last question. That was our horn. It's a uh, fish. Uh, let me, before anybody answers this, this is for the car. It is one to one. Okay, Mark, he says it is a fish. If you get this right, you go for the car. You're our new champion. If you get it wrong, it's adios amigo. He says it, a jib boom is a fish. Agree or disagree? I disagree. You're going for that car. Yeah. That gets the square. It's a part of the sailboat. The jib boom. Yeah. Well, let's add them up. Two X's up there. It's worth $100 each. That's $200 plus winning the other game, $500. Your total... $700, that makes you our new champion. Congratulations, Mark. Well, Dee, you've been a one, you, first of all, there's one circle up here that gives you $100 plus the $500 earlier in the show, gives you $600 from today. Add that to the $3,800 that you came into the show with. Your total is $4,400 plus the trip to the Bahamas and Fort Lauderdale. We've enjoyed helping you make a lot of money and have a lot of fun. Thank you. Thanks, Dee. Hope sure. you'll be watching the show in the future. Mark, it's your moment. You are now our new champion. Pick one of these keys. There are five keys here, one for each of those beautiful cars down there. Pick a key. All right. And now we want to find out which car you want to go for. Will it be the RX-7? The 626 four-door? The 82000 truck? Got 
to try the RX-7 to start. RX-7 will be right back with Mark and his RX-7 and the good luck celebrity of his choice right after these words. What a move. But we couldn't fit Kareem into the car, so he's going to stand right here in this beautiful RX-7. Tell us about it, Shadow. Completely new with high-level standard equipment, contoured bucket seats, full instrumentation, and a five-speed transmission, the RX-7 sports car, furnished by Monz Mazda. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. Good luck, Mark. On the count of three, audience and stars, help us out. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> didn't start. I'm sorry, Mark, but here's the good news. Hold on to that key, yeah. because tomorrow you'll be back on the show and you'll have a chance, one out of four, of starting one of these other cars, okay? Thanks for joining us today on the show. Goodbye, everybody. Come out tomorrow for the Hollywood Squares. Some of our departing contestants will receive... When Q-Tex Remover takes polish off, it locks in moisture so your nails get stronger every time you use it. Imagine! And liquid paper correction fluids for handwritten mistakes, photocopies, even forms. Clean, neat liquid paper. It's the perfect solution. And the beat goes on with French Toast Sportswear by Lolly Togs. From jeans to jackets for girls and boys, tots to teens, French Toast Kids are hot. Available in finer stores everywhere. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.